Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Tripti Vedaram Tutorial. Today we are discussing Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation by shortcut method. This video is totally in English. If you want to see Hindi video, please uh, see the description for its Hindi version. So let's start Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation. What is this? So it explains us the relation between two variables x and y. Uh, if there is an increment in x, then if y also increases, then it is known as, you know, a positive correlation between x and y. And if the value of x decreases with y, uh, if the value of x decreases with increasing y, then it is known as, um, sorry, uh, if the value of x, x decreases with y, then it is known as negative correlation. So this is positive correlation, this is negative correlation. But if there is no significant uh, you know, we, uh, you can't say that when x is increasing, when y is increasing and when both are decreasing, then we have to say this no correlation. Okay. So, uh, let's uh, start our topic by shortcut method. So, this is the question. Uh, find a calculation coefficient of correlation between variables x and y. Okay. And we uh, have used formula. We will use this formula. Okay, so rho is here the Calvison coefficient of correlation. Sometimes rho may also be denoted by R or P. Okay, now what is X and Y here? So X is X minus X bar and Y is Y minus Y bar. Okay, and what is X bar and Y bar? So X bar is the mean of X values of X. That means summation X upon N and Y bar is summation Y upon N. Okay. So, first we have to write these values in tabular form, okay. Now, then we add all x values, okay. And don't forget to name it in capital, okay. Capital X and capital Y. Then sum all these values, 10 plus 6 plus 9 plus 10 plus 12 and 13 and so on. So, we will get the sum of x is 80 and sum of y is 64, okay. Now we will calculate arithmetic mean of x and y. So we are uh, here we know that summation x equals to 80. So summation x with the help of this summation x we will find x bar that is summation x upon n. This is capital X. Okay. Make it capital X. I have mistaken here. Uh, summation x upon n. So summation x that means 80 upon n. n here means the total number of values. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then divide it by 8 to so x bar equals to 80 upon n that means 10 similarly uh, we will find y bar equals to summation y upon n summation y is here 64 upon n that means 8 values to so 8 8 is a 64 that means y bar equals to 8 okay so now after this we have to uh, make these values small so uh, by subtracting it with the mean value we can make these values small okay so x minus x bar basically x is here this value okay so x bar is here the mean which we have find we have found that x bar equals to 10 it's a fixed value so x minus x bar that means 10 okay just substitute these value here so 10 minus 10 okay this is minus 10 this is here equals to 0 6 6 minus 10 minus 4 then 9 minus 10 then 10 minus 10 then 12 minus 10 and so on in this way you will find the value of small x here okay let's see in this way okay now similarly you can find y y is basically given by y minus y bar okay just make it very clear that this y is this variable and y bar is the mean which we have found it this is a fixed value okay and this is the variable value which we have to put from this table so 9 minus 8 then 4 minus 8 then 6 minus 8 and then so on to so minus 2 minus 2 okay i'm sorry minus 4 minus 2 and so on okay so here we found this table okay clear till now okay then now this is x and this is y now forget this table because here our new x and new y here is our new x and new y so now multiply both x and y okay now x square means this x 
square y square means the square of value of y okay so we have to find three more tables x y x square and y square okay okay now let's do it forget these values there is no use of this now x and y so x square means 0 by square minus 4 square 16 minus 1 square 1 0 square 0 and so on okay similarly y square means minus 2 square 4 minus 4 square 16 minus 2 square 4 and so on okay now we multiply value of x and y to find x y okay x into y that means 0 into minus 2 to 0 minus 4 into minus 4 plus 16 minus 1 into minus 2 plus 2 and so on okay see in this way we have found all the you know important values which we have to put in our formula so just to sum it sum all of them okay just sum all, all of them summation x x square sum all these value add all these value we will get 32 add all the value of y we will get 70 mm, here is one mistake wait a minute yeah here is the mistake that uh, this is minus 1 and this is 1 okay i have made that mistake and here is 72 okay just correct it and sum it all sum up all values sum up all values and also sum all values so you know we will get x square summation y square summation x y okay now we will substitute all these values in our formula so we have this value this value and this value and we have this formula okay just put all these values summation x y put 43 summation x square and then summation y square but remember there is a root there is a root okay then root 32 and root 72 okay now we will find the value of root 32 and root 72 apart from this please overlook to my channel to find the carl pearson coefficient value uh, by step deviation method and also there are many more helpful videos which you will found in link please like subscribe to my channel and i am keep uh, making this type of videos which were helpful to you during your studies now we will find this answer and don't and you know uh, there is some formula which i have also shown in the end uh, don't forget to see them these are important now for solve this this uh, till end. okay so we have 43 uh, upon under root 32 into 72 32 will uh, we will solve this by lcm and root 72 we will solve this by lcm and the paired values which we get has will come out of root these pairs will come out of root 2 2 2 2 and 3 one one value from each pair and then we will divide 43 by these values so we'll get answer so this is our answer rho equals to minus rho equals to sorry rho equals to 0 0.8958 this is our answer and since the value of rho lies between minus 1 to 1 that means uh, it's a correct answer because rho has a boundary between minus 1 to 1 and between minus 1 to 1 there is uh, all these values and our value 0 0.89 lies uh, almost here okay here 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 not here here okay so this is the checking method now here is the most important list of formula so we have this formula okay we have used this formula like uh, but in some videos you will find this formula too so this formula is also correct this is the same representation of this formula uh, how we get this uh, we when we make table we have put this x equals to x minus x bar no? okay uh, please go previous and see that we have written x minus x bar equals to x so we can also return x equals to x minus x bar so in some videos you will find this x equals to x minus x1 this y equals to y minus y1 put here also you will get this formula some uh, some people also use this summation xy sigma x sigma y and if the value of sigma x equals to suppose uh, 10 if the value of sigma y equals to 12 and if the value of sigma xy equals to 12 then you just put these values and find the carl pearson coefficient of correlation somewhere this type of question is also given this is type 2 question this is type 2 question okay which i have explained you okay type 1 by shortcut method and type 2 when these parameters are given uh, here uh, if we substitute x bar equals to summation x by n here and y bar equals to summation y by n here and here also 
then we will get another form of formula uh, but uh, but first of all sigma x equals to variance of x and sigma y is known as variance of y okay remember this also this is also important in question suppose sigma x sigma y is not mentioned but you have given variance of x and variance of y then you just use you have to just use this formula to find coefficient of correlation coefficient of correlation is itself called as Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation don't you know don't confuse it, uh, it can also be said as Carl Pearson, but uh, in Carl Pearson, mainly step deviation method is used. I have also made video for step deviation method. Please go through the description link and find it in English. Okay, they are both available in Hindi. It, uh, the videos are available in Hindi and English too. So, our, uh, so when we put x bar, when we put x bar equals to summation x upon n then we will get this type of formula so this type of formula is also for Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation okay so this is all about shortcut method and the step deviation method is link is given in description if you find this video helpful please like subscribe and share to my channel thank you for watching